Hello everyone, my name is Andy Lim Jong Sin and I am a student from University Technology Malaysia. Today, I am going to share my experience on how to create an autophoto, DSM and DTM using Pix4D. For the control line in DTM, I will use Upmap. Before we start, I think it is necessary for me to explain to you what are autophoto, DSM and DTM in this world. For autophoto, it is an area image that has been geometrically corrected or known as auto rectified so that the image is uniform from edge to edge. Auto photo also has a geographic reference to the earth such as a UTM or step plan coordinates which make each pixel in the photo can be accurately located. DSM or known as digital surface models is an elevation model that contains the elevation of the terrain as well as above ground features. Or in other words, DSM is used to capture the natural and build features on Earth's surface and the features can include the uh, tops of the building, trees, power line, and any other object. DTM or known as Digital Terrain Model is a topographic model of the bare earth that can be manipulated by computer programs. It is a vector data set composed of regularly spaced points and natural features such as ridges and black line. DTM can be used to augment a DEM by including the linear features of the bare earth terrain. For the making of auto photo, DSM and DTM, we're gonna use Peace4D. If you are the first time using Peace4D, please be not there are tri version and maple version. In this world, I'm gonna use a uh, peacefully mapper. First of all, click on create new project and name the project. In my case, I'm gonna name my project as assignment of digital photography week 9. And please be note that you can change the part you want to save all your peaceful document. And I will just leave mine to default. Next, and in this part, uh, you're gonna put in all my all your area image for me, uh, for me and I'm gonna put all my area photo I got uh, during my this camp okay this is all the area photo I got from my lecturer select all and please not don't include the first one because it's only represent the field that where the drone deploy Okay, then click next to process. After we got we get to this part, just simply click on next. Okay, for this part we have to set our non coordinate to UTM two thousand Peninsula RSO. So then in vertical coordinate system set your MSI and MSL to EGM 96 joint. So then click next to proceed. Okay, in the part of processing option template, we to make auto photo this MTM, we're gonna choose 3D maps in the standard. Uh, please be note, don't choose 3D models because it does not include the result we want for the work. Okay, okay. Okay, and this is the point and where we got from our area image we have insert. Before we start, we have to untick the 2 and 3 in the processing to that go to process and click on processing option uh, for the first part which is initial processing we have to set it to full for key points in make scale and the second part which is a uh, point cloud set it to one Then for the 3D texture max, you can choose uh, 
the resolution we want. But please be, uh, keep in mind, if you save to high resolution, it will take a long time to process. Let's go to the export. Uh, this is the part where you want to save your output as the specific file. For the default setting, it was save to the FPS and the others. In my case, I'm gonna save it as a PDF file. Okay, let me name my save output first and name it as 3D module of initial processing. Now, let me change 3D module result of initial processing. And it open. Oh, but it's not function, but it will mind. Let me change. Okay, never mind. We just leave it blank. Now we go to the third one, which is the SM Automation Index. In this part, we're gonna set it, set the automation. Tick the Google Map task and KML. In okay, and in this part, it is uh, depending on your on the device you are using. If you are using desktop, you, uh, if you are using desktop or laptop, you can choose the the GIF you want to use for the first part of processing. Well, in my case, I'm gonna set mine to 20. Okay, okay. Uh, before you start, you uh, we have to check every setting we have made before the that click on ok now we click on start to process uh, please keep it in mind that the processing might take a while and the time is depending on the capability of your device and I will just leave it here and I will show the result after the process is complete Okay, this is the result of the first step, which is initial processing. Uh, we can just scroll down and see. Uh, in this part, we got the auto photo and the SM. Uh, we can scroll down for a while and see the other information about the processing. Uh, but we are not gonna use this for the work but it's you know, not that in this part of your referencing it is shown as exclamation mark and it's because we don't have no 3d pcp but never mind we don't need to worry about that for uh, because for this work we are not gonna use any pcp and cp and let's see and this is the the result we got after initial processing in uh, this for the okay now uh, before we start we proceed to step three we need to uh, untick the first step first and do as the same go to the processing option and in the third part uh, same as before we need to tick the Google Map tag and KML. Okay, we switch to additional output. For this part, we need to tick the raster DTN. Uh, uh, it, uh, the previous one is unticked, so I need to tick this again. And make sure the merge tag is ticked too. Okay. Now we just have to uh, don't worry about the error because I made some mistake before, so it will appear. Then we click start to start processing, and it might take a while to finish processing. So it is as same before. I will just skip to the part where I finish the work and show you the result. And this is the result of DTM that we have created without the use of GCP and CP. 
Like, although it is almost the same as the one we got from the the, the result of the first process, but don't mind. Right. In this OD, we just go to the Mosaic Editor on the top left, click on Mosaic Group 1, and we can see the result we have made. And this is the TTM, the result we got after the third processing, which is TTM, Dr. Mosaic, and Index. Also, we can also check the result we have created from the first processing, which is Auto Photo, and also the DSM. Uh, don't don't mind the the progress in the bot left is not important. Okay, now we are gonna use Artmet for the making of control line. Even the control line is already made using the piece body, but it didn't appear. So I will just make one with Artmet. Now we just need to go to user document and select this body in this part you have need to choose the project name you have created at the first, uh, initial step okay go to 10 dstgn dsn and drag in the file and this is with the dtm file we created using this body after that go back to dsm automoset and drag in the file this one is uh appear as uh, what I say, uh, auto photo layer. Okay, we need to make sure we pick port first and be sure that to put the DTM file on top of the auto photo. After that, go to search icon and type in contour. And then we choose contour spatial analysis tool. In this part, for the input raster, we need to put inside the DTM file. Even though it is named as DSM, but it's actually DTM. After that, we will need to put up, uh, set the part where we want to store our uh, output feature class. Then for this work, I will name it as control, uh, control line. So underscore line ETM. Okay, after that, set the control interval to 2 and leave other blank and, and, sub, and the other as the same and click OK to process. Uh, it will take a while but not too long, so we have to wait, 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 wait the result to appear first. Okay, and this is the control line generated using Ahmed. The blue line indicates the control line uh, inside the UTM area. And we can switch off the first one, UTM, and, and check it using the auto photo. We can drag it and see the children. It's kind of complicated because uh, children in UTM is also like this. And we can switch off the auto photo tool to see the wall control line. Hmm. Okay, to so, uh, if you want to find the result of control line made in this body, you can also go to uh, extra controls and click on the pdf file because we have set it as pdf file before and it's just like this it's not uh it's, it's not complicated it's just so presented in simple line and that's all what i want to share today and thank you for watching the video until now and i hope you learn something from my video